Greetings, nerds. Do you lick your brush? Yes. Um, it will stop, you dumb... F I can't cuss within the first 30 seconds. So, let's talk about paint safety. Let's start off with the big elephant in the room. Mitt, see mitt, bit, oh it, right there. It's on Games Workshop paint as well. See mitt, mitt, chloromethyl isothiazolinone. If you don't know what chloromethyl isothiazolinone is, well, chloromethyl isothiazolinone, it's a biocide. And it's a very potent one at that. It's cheap, it's effective, it's in most paint. And not every company will tell you that it's in their paint. Some will, some will not. But this is actually a reason why you need to wear a mask when airbrushing and why you shouldn't lick your brush. So chloromethyl isothiazolinone, better known as CMIT, it can cause allergic reactions, lung damage, skin damage, mitochondrial damage. Uh, in a 2024 paper, they found that it can cause uh, my damage to the mitochondria of the skeletal muscle, which can lead to muscle dysfunction. Which already is pretty nasty in its own right. And if that doesn't scare you out of licking your brush, well, it should. It can impair vascular function, it can cause impotence, it can cause uh, a lot of different things. Uh, there was a study at one point that said it can cause infertility from ingestion, which is why it's banned in food. And yes, it used to be used in, like, you know, certain water-based materials in very, very, very low doses, dosages. Um, at one point it was... Uh, I know the UK has huge regulations on it against it being in um, soap. Like, you can have it in soap, which is one reason why you should not be you drinking this. It's because ingesting it can make you allergic to a lot of different types of soap, mostly shampoo. If you didn't know, well, now you do. And that's the reason why I say, you know, licking your brush can make you allergic to soap because a lot of soaps will contain it. And yes, soap does need a biocide so it doesn't mold over. Because any water-based material can mold over if it doesn't have the proper level of biocide, if it's uh, a suitable environment for the mold, a suitable environment for bacteria. Soap can be a really huge harbor for bacteria, after all. Despite it being soap and that not making much sense to somebody like me who's like, wait, I use soap to clean everything off. Well, let's talk about toxicity of pigments as well. Why not? So, let's go grab a couple things here. Chromium oxide. This is trivalent chromium oxide, not hexavalent chromium oxide. Hexavalent chromium oxide is the toxic one. Trivalent chromium oxide is an essential nutrient, so it is perfectly safe to airbrush. You don't have to be worried about it. It's in most hobby paints. It's in most children's paints. It's very common. It's cheap, affordable, effective, and opaque. And fairly non-toxic, too. Cobalt. Uh, cobalt is a tricky one. So we have that cobalt. We have the original cobalt called smalt here. This is raw smalt right here. Oh, how'd you get that? I have my ways. It's called Kremer. Anyways. Smalt is dangerous. Cobalt blue, it's... That's a tricky answer. So... Certain countries will say it's more toxic than other countries will. When I talked to several toxicology laboratories about cobalt blue, uh, I was working on this huge expose about a paint company because I thought cobalt blue was super toxic myself. I talked to these companies, I talked to EU, and I talked to US. Both of them 
didn't really tell me anything different. They just said it in different ways. One where it was basically saying, yeah, we describe it as more toxic than it actually is because of regulation. And the American one's going, it's not that bad as long as you have proper protection equipment. So the short of it is that it can cause skin irritation and lung damage if you breathe it in. Well, yeah, that's about it. Can it kill you? No. Can it really make you deathly ill? I have yet to see evidence of that. Can it give you cancer? Um, so the version of cobalt that's in pigment is not a prop 65. That's all I'll say about that because yeah, that, that's an interesting thing. Actually, the fact that cobalt blue is not prop 65 while most versions of cobalt are prop 65. If you don't know what prop 65 is, it's this, um, huge, massive list of chemicals like California lists as carcinogens. And anything that has even the remote slightest chance of being a carcinogen goes on that list. Certain things like titanium white are on that list. Yes, titanium white is on that list, but the cobalt blue it as a pigment is not. But everybody lists this as a carcinogen. Except for paint companies. And pigment companies. And California. It's the people that don't know anything listed as one. And yeah, it's better to be safe than be sorry. I would totally list it as one myself because even I'm unsure... Even after talking to these regulatory agencies, talking to these toxicology labs, talking to a bunch of different people about it, and them all agreeing that it's not that toxic. We overvalue the toxicity of cobalt blue all the time. There's certain variations of, of it, like cobalt violet, that are more dangerous. Let's grab cobalt violet here. So cobalt violet, this is a huge skin irritant. Uh, it's more toxic than cobalt blue. However, you, they're still not that bad. Uh, when buying them from places like Kremer, cobalt violet has a bunch of warning labels on it from Kremer, but cobalt blue doesn't. And when you read their MSDSs, they basically all say the same thing no research has been found of it being carcinogen no research has been found of it being toxic and this is the eu ones and the eu ones tend to take the slightest little uh, nugget of truth and expand it a lot when it comes to toxicity to meet regulations that's how those msds's work sometimes And if there's, like, a slight chance of something like that, like, you know, getting cancer from ingesting it, it'll be expand more so in the EU. Because it'll be like, yeah, there's a probable link to cancer. But I have yet to find an MSDS about cobalt blue from the EU that says anything of that nature. It just says nothing has been found. No. Yeah, that's it. And we have research on cobalt blue. It's a very common blue. It's one of the most common blues out there. That's because it has better quality control than ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue is more toxic, funny enough, when it comes to the fumes. The fumes from uh, making ultramarine blue, you can get cyanide gas, you can get all these things out of there. It's super deadly. While the cobalt fumes aren't as bad. So it's actually, technically speaking, less toxic than ultramarine blue. But ultramarine blue 
in reality is less toxic than cobalt because it can't cause skin irritation. This is the complexity of understanding how toxic these things are. I get into arguments about cobalt blue all the time about its toxicity, where I've done a ton of research on this stuff. I still can't find anything about being toxic. However, everyone wants to say, no, it's toxic. And I'm still on the fence of whether or not it's toxic, even though I find no research saying it is. Except, well, Wikipedia saying it's toxic. Chat GPT says it's toxic. But the MSDSs, the toxicology agencies, the regulatory agencies all say it's not. But I also don't believe a lot of the words they say sometimes because, yeah, I work for them. I work for these regulatory agencies. And I know how often they lie to your face. So, grain of salt with everything a human says, right? Grain of salt. Even with me, grain of salt. I don't know everything. I just know what I read. And sometimes I read things that just aren't true, and I think they are. Like, one company was claiming that they use cobalt blue in children's finger paints. And this is a German company that was claiming it. Um, it was in an interview at one point, I think. Uh, I, I was watching. And, yeah. Uh, I don't know how true that is. I've never seen any proof of it. But it wouldn't surprise me if the companies were. I personally don't know. So yeah. Uh, is airbrushing cobalt blue safe? As long as you wear a mask. Is it ingestible? No, it's not, you dumb ass. Do I have... Paint is not food. It is not edible. Do not ingest it. Do not lick your brush. Morons.